If you want something to work, you do that. It doesn't feel painful or like you're giving anything up. You're gaining something. She will not, however, be moving in with her boyfriend and his son. She's gonna get her own place. We're gonna keep those boundaries, Michael said. As a dad, I am always just cognizant of doing things at a pace that makes sense and checking in with him to make sure things work. She's understanding of that. I definitely wanted to focus on my relationship with James before we moved in together, Danielle agreed. That just didn't even cross my mind. Cause that just didn't feel like a safe thing for James. I wanna build my own little life up there too, and focus, like, on my work and actually date my boyfriend in the same setting. Dating is something both Danielle and Michael are excited to do now that their relationship is public knowledge, though there have been some advantages to keeping things under wraps in recent months. I will say, to some extent, it's been nice not being distracted by anything outside, Michael said. When we are together, we're in the house, we're kind of in quarantine, we get to focus on each other. The beach moves really quick. We move at our pace. A lot of the greatest things that we've been able to experience today has been off camera, with each other. One special moment was caught on camera, though, when Michael told Danielle I love you for the first time at the BIP reunion. I think you can see it on my face. I am like, what? Danielle joked of how shocked she was by Michael's declaration, which was a meaningful one for him to make. On this show, things get thrown around all the time. For me, I have fought with girlfriends for the longest time about not throwing this word out. This goes back to grade school. I've only said it once in my entire life to one person. I hold on to it, Michael told E.T. It has broken relationships up in my past, so yesterday was a big day. It was earned. It's a big commitment. She also never puts any pressure on me to say it. I didn't feel pressure because of the show. It's just cause I meant it. No one's more thrilled about Michael and Danielle's relationship than Wells Adams, VIP's resident bartender and the nurse's longtime friend. I've known Danielle since before either of us were on the show. We both lived in Nashville together. We had the same group of friends. I just want so much for her to be happy, Wells told E.T. I am just rooting for her, just in general, and then I got to meet Michael this season and realize what an amazing guy he is. They both have a tough past and both relate to serious issues. I was rooting for them. Sometimes the old guys gotta get a win. I had no idea that Danielle was coming down. For Sierra's part, she told E.T. that she had to create her own closure because Michael wasn't really the best at consolidating all of the information and giving me a true, honest answer. I really don't care. I am over it. I am over it. I am over him.